My fellow 2020 graduates. Like 94% of emails you've received in the past two months. I hope this speech finds you well. I think I finally know where to begin. Despite the pain and frustration surrounding this moment today, I'd like to make it very clear that we still did the dang thing. You've worked hard for four years, maybe more, maybe less. I stand or sit before you today, broadcasting live from my basement. We all have amazing achievements to celebrate. I know it's a disappointment to miss out on a commencement ceremony. Obviously, life had other plans. Now, instead of trivia night with my friends, I watch Jeopardy on my couch with my mom and sister. But I'm not here to tell you about the hardships faced by 2020 graduates. I'm here to talk about our resilience. Everybody's story is a little different. We are engineers, doctors, teachers, entrepreneurs, and so, so much more. We are the first in our family to attend college. We ourselves are also immigrants coming from a new country and being the first to get an education in America. This speech goes out to us. My parents immigrated to the United States from Eritrea in order to give me an education that they never got to receive. Today, I am proud to be the second graduate in my household to hardworking parents who came to this country with nothing but a dream of creating a life for their children. I am the first in my family to graduate from a four-year university. My message for you is simple. Celebrate. Celebrate today, celebrate tomorrow, and celebrate the good in your past and your future. This isn't the story anyone expected, but it's ours. We already know this, but the class of 2020 has seen some shit. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in this country climbs to over a million. About how many shots did you hear? Uh, too many to count. Dire consequences of climate change. And the dire new warning today from the CDC director. Police officers and protesters clash over a man's death. We're wearing cloth to cover our faces from dangerous elements. We're seeing it on the news every day. Some are staying inside to protect their lives while some are out on the front lines. A couple weeks ago, I would have said this about the coronavirus. On the contrary, I'm talking about the fight my fellow African-Americans and allies have been enduring for not only the past few weeks, but for over 400 years. These are not unprecedented moments. In fact, these events we're experiencing are very much precedented. Time and time again, we have fallen short in building systems on justice for all. My grandparents lived during the civil rights movement. My parents saw the Los Angeles riots caused by the brutal beating of Rodney King. I was in eighth grade when I saw Trayvon Martin get murdered. The cycle has kept on going since then. Racial indifference is one of the biggest narratives that need to change. Till this day, negative assumptions and prejudice have continued to put people of color in harm. I won multiple awards and received top honors in my class. My professors always said I have a soft personality, but a strong spirit when it comes to my work. From the sound of me, I'm a model citizen, but from the looks of me, the country assumes otherwise. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe again. I am a threat no matter what. We need to acknowledge the underlying issues in our society, and we need to be a united force against them. We need to use our privilege, our ability to overcome challenges for good and positive change. Kindness is not a commodity. Gratitude has no cost. In a time where the country and world feel divided, I can count on the class of 2020 to make us feel united as one. We are the faces of tomorrow. 
However, tomorrow isn't that far, so it's time to learn and grow now. We have grit. We have ambition. We have perseverance. We have courage. We have the skill to adapt quicker than others. And most importantly, especially at this time, we have each other. Even during this terrifying time, our peers have shown their innovation and creativity in order to cultivate real change. What the class of 2020 has really mastered is asking why. We became masters of calling out bullshit. We became masters of applying this curriculum to try and tackle the massive challenges that have been presented to us, the emerging leaders. There are ways around struggles, and when there seems to be no light at the end of the tunnel, create it yourself, or keep looking for it until you find it. To this historic class of 2020, the lesson is simple. Think about what you're grateful for in life and harness that gratitude to make a difference, no matter how small, in the life of someone else. Class of 2020, we are bold. We are unstoppable. We are courageous. I am excited for what is to come next from all of us, the greatness to come from our class. Nothing is certain right now, but we've never needed certainty to do something great. I challenge you all to go forward from this virtual ceremony, celebrating the good. Be gentle on yourself, but also do the much needed work so that we have a better future to celebrate. To the class of 2020, I need your energy because all lives can't matter until Black lives matter. Your indomitable spirit is needed in this world. Better things are coming. Class of 2020, I am so proud that we made it. Now go be brave. With that, I encourage everyone to celebrate with one another, which is what I will be doing. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you for listening. And as always, Black Lives Matter. And when they write our page in the history books, the stories may not be of us tossing our caps together in a packed arena, or on stage with our diplomas, but of the ways we persevered through the seemingly impossible and how we came together stronger than ever, even when we were apart. We, the class of 2020, were the ones that did a million dang things. Mm -hmm.